I'm going to show you how to use the blend tool in Illustrator. So to do that, um, I'm going to show you how to make kind of one of these little things from the iTunes logo. So first off, I'm going to grab the uh, ellipse tool and just make uh, an oval. I'll go ahead and just put in a solid color in there. And it's probably best to just not have any stroke at all on there. So I took that. You can click on it and click on that to take that out. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and click and drag. So to make a duplicate, to do that, you hold down the Alt key, click, hold, and drag with your mouse, and then let go. Or you can do cut, copy, or paste. So I'll make that a little bit smaller. Come in here and change the color something else and I'll do one more of those make that a little bit smaller put that in there and then change the color of that too so I've got that let me zoom in here so once you've got that then it's time to blend so if I come in here and grab this tool right here this is your blend tool and if you click on, I think it works best if you click on the borders, click on the border, and then click on the next border, and then if you click on the next border, we'll see if we can do all three of them uh, to blend into there. And that's kind of how you use the blend tool. So it's a little bit harsh on that last one. So I think what I'll do is just kind of change up that color again, maybe make it a little bit more subtle. So grab that blend tool, click on the borders of these items, and then click on the border again. And that'll kind of get you uh, that blend tool. So kind of a cool tool um, to create on there. And then I could rotate that and just kind of start playing with that and make the rest of the item. Another way you can blend things. Um, if you click on the line tool, and we're going to just work with a stroke here now, uh, grab um, a line. So just kind of drag a line and maybe make that a little bit thicker. If we go up to our stroke, if it'll let us even do it. So if we click on it, the black arrow tool. Um, and then come up here to the stroke. I'll just make it a little bit thicker so I can see it a little bit better. Um, but if you grab that and um, draw another line or duplicate the existing one, change the color, come in here, change the color, duplicate again and change the color. Um, we'll do one more. You can blend these and kind of make a kind of a rainbow effect or whatever you're trying to make. So grab that blend tool again, click on one of the lines to start, and then click on the next one. It'll blend those two together. Click on the next one, it'll blend those together, and then finally blend the last one together. So that's kind of another cool technique with uh, the blend tool. And that's You can do that with a gradient too, but that is the blend tool.